So everything down in the south of Britain is hugely behind schedule with spring. Um, some people thinking we're about 20 days behind where we were this time last year with bird nesting and, and calling and things, which is a huge difference. Um, but it does mean that it's given us a few extra days to get things ready for the spring breeding. And here at the, at the San Martin Cliff, we've installed a tape of San Martin calls playing out through the cliff to try and draw migrating San Martin's attention to it. As yet, we've not had any nesting in here, but uh, it's hoped that by playing calls of that bird species, it'll mean other birds look down and actually spy a potential nest site. And if the natural nest site further up the river washes away, which in this stormy weather it could well do, there's this option that's always safeguarding their, uh, their breeding into the future. Um, also today we've had two uh, views of an otter, first thing at 9.30 in the morning and the day before it was seen at uh, quarter past one in the afternoon so there's otter activity down on the site and I've seen a lot of smaller otter prints behind the tower hide recently so thinking that might be a female uh, just prospecting in the early spring and uh, finally up in the nest box uh, for the kestrel, our female's back sitting tight. This time last year, she'd already made a nest depression and was almost getting ready to lay eggs. So uh, everything being a bit later, we've got a few weeks to go before that starts happening, but at least she's reclaimed her nest site and she's keeping the crows off it for now.